Hello and welcome to the sprint plan for 20.01.02. This will cover the work undertaken between the 21st of January to the 3rd of February. Our sprint goal for this sprint is to update the main search to improve performance and undertake several fixes based on client demand. Looking at the high level items and to explain further, in this sprint we're planning to update the main search to be store procedure driven. This will offer several options to us in the background, but is ultimately being delivered to improve the speed of the search and the loading of results. As part of the back office project, we'll be adding the ability to attach a document to a timesheet or charge. We'll be fixing an issue that some users are seeing with certain formatted documents when opening the file in the Word application. We'll be resolving an issue which is causing a black screen when adding social media links against other document types. We'll be updating the documents receive workflows when parsing or attaching so that the original email is also recorded against the existing or newly registered uh, record. We'll be looking into timeout settings for the CV parser to define how long you should wait when processing a CV and to better manage the experience for the user in the event of a timeout, including a retry option. As part of our portal integration project, we'll be updating our API so that the registration of a new candidate can include applying a unique username and password against the record. We'll be ensuring when text criteria searching and viewing the associated documents to a record that has scored a high rank that the doc documents have been sorted in the highest ranking order. And as part of a number of refinements to streamline the workflows in the UI, we're going to be offering a way to simplify the email form so the email form simply contains the email address, subject and message body. As always, if you have any queries or feedback, please get in touch. I'll be keen to hear from you. Also, for those using Colleague 7, feel free to submit your enhancement requests for the support team or directly to me using the above email address. The next video will be the sprint review based on this development sprint and as part of that I'll include some quick demonstrations on the new functionality that's been added. Thanks for watching.